When we use the word triggers for asthma, what are some of the things that come in your mind? What are what does the word triggers of asthma yeah. mean? Well, it, it, part of what we do when we teach an asthma patient is you need, we want to help you identify your triggers so that we can plan ahead for maybe that fall pollen season or the spring pollen season, or maybe you like to run in that cold, dry air of winter. So we want to know what are your triggers, okay? And so when we look at triggers, allergy is a big trigger, okay? Depending so when you think of allergies, what do you, you mentioned pollen just a minute. Pollen could be one. What other allergy dust triggers? Dust mites are a potent trigger for asthmatics. Cockroach in the right situation, particularly in certain populations, is a very uh, potent trigger. So and it's overlooked because not everybody tests their patients for that. They don't send them to the allergist for that test. So how do you find out if somebody's allergic to dust or cockroaches or pollen or mold? Yeah. Two ways to do that, the way we usually do it, which is a kind of what we consider to be the best way to do that is a scratch test, a little plastic device with the, the antigen or the allergen on the skin and, and within 10 or 15 minutes we'll know if it whelps up like a mosquito bite, that's an allergy. We need to avoid that. We need to talk about all the things we can do to minimize exposure to that. 